Asking as long as you're between the tapes, yeah. it's fair game. Yeah. Right, happy days. Yeah. Two world champs here, look. <laughs> do I, do I, do I? Cheers, mate. Oh my God. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today is going to be very fun and different because we're here at Forrester Dean for a mini enduro rather than downhill. Let's go, sign on and check out what today has in store. Oi, oi. So we're going to go for a bit of a slow time look at section one, or sorry, stage one, stage two, stage three and stage four. Right then. Well, that's changed somewhat. It's gonna be loose. Wow, that's so much fun. Can't actually believe how wet and slimy this all is. Look at that. That is minging, isn't it? Mud, isn't it? Look at that. Insane. Minging. This afternoon it should dry up somewhat. Love it. So that was stage one little slick and very very porridgey hopefully the more people that ride it, it should make it a bit better but look at the ground today hold it in a minute oh mate this is minging oh my god That is minging. Yeah, boy. Super, super fun. Uh, hopefully we don't catch anyone in the race run. As we did get stopped, we may as well have a little look at this section. So you can sort of see there is an inside, there's an outside. Yeah, boy. You get on the outside and then square it off onto that inside. That was nice. Just carrying speed out of all these turns, that's the thing. If you end up on the inside, you almost get pushed on the outside and you get a big 180. Up high. Up inside. There you go, that's the one. I'm gonna wear goggles for main race because glasses just steamed up a bit, so goggles should be all good. Cutting up a bit. There is like higher lines, but realistically they're gonna go by race run, so I think just main line, carry off low, should be good. So there's an inside here, but as you can see, that rut is just disappearing. You're almost best off just doing the higher line, carrying the speed out of there, carrying the flow. Mm. Oh, that's minging. Minging. So we're on our way to stage three. This is the peddly mother. So um, it's gonna be all out, digging out for race run. We're just gonna go nice and chilled and have a little look at some of the sections and uh, go from there. Top of stage three. Um, cheers. Right, start of stage three then. So this way it's gonna be real peddly. Like proper peddly actually. Loads of hidden little roots and stuff. Which so we don't need to let's cut it to somewhere exciting. Got an in and an out. Probably best go in the in, the short line. Oh my god! 
Is that what just happened to you, boys? Minging. Oh, we got an in there. And you saw what happened, or the out. You can see the rocks just going cut across, but there is super slidey. But you can do this outside, get that grip, and then power out. Oh, that out. I think out's the one then, isn't it? Oh. Right, and carry the speed out. I think, annoying as it is, that's gonna have to be the one. That is pedally. Kind of cool with enduro because there are loads of sort of sneaky lines, and this is a classic. There's a right hander, but you can actually let it run and end up on this wider line, but then it might screw you up for the next section. However, it's so boggy, I don't think it's gonna make any blind bit of difference. Lines everywhere, ins, out. Oh, you wanna try and stay on that in, I think. Wow. Top is stage four. Here we go then, it's going to be quite paddly. I've noticed an inside here. This is the line, just keep, keep straight and through. Look how ruthless this is now, look. Mental. Bottom of stage four now, so as you can see, all exposed routes going into a left-hander, and it's this left-hander who want to try and stay on this higher line, and then it basically gives us a nice straight all the way into the finish. We've had a good couple of hours chilling out since practice. We're now getting ready for race run. We've got the transponder on there, the number boards on. We're all good to go. Let's get it. Oi, oi. Even pushing up here is not the easiest of work. That has got pretty boggy. There he is. Look how much. Oh wow, there's an out. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so that's the new line now then. Oh mate, look how much has changed now. There's new straight lines everywhere. Look, there's straight line all the way down on the left. It is now officially a bog bash and people are running with their bikes all the way out there. And theoretically, there isn't any tape, so there's nothing really stopping you from going on that fire road down there, if I'm being perfectly honest. Sorry, mate, sorry. Oh, oh minging. So there's the track. There's the fire road. There isn't any tape. Well, oh, no. It's too crashed already. Oh, I know, man. It's nuts, isn't it? Oh, keep it going, bro. I mean, someone did mention it to me. I don't know. My heart's saying it's not on, but there isn't any tape, and that is the spirit of Enduro, apparently. I mean, I don't know. Look at this. The people are running with their bike, and yet there's a nice fire road. There, there are actually a few tyre marks on it, which I think there are a few people that are hitting it. Must be. It's mushy as. I think I've made my mind up. I don't look at it as cheating because loads of other people, well, loads, there's a few tyre marks. I think there's been a few people hitting it. There is your evidence. There's at least three tyre marks in the ground here. I think it's the one. Go oh. on, oh, lad. Oh. Oh, it looks hard work, that. I think I'm going to do it. There's other tyre marks. This is horrendous. There's no tape whatsoever, and that is apparently the thing of Enduro. As long as you're between the tapes, there is no tape from there. To there, as long as you're between the tapes, apparently it's game on, so just using my initiative. Go on, Bill, get it, boy. Wow, it's such a hard track to race now. You can sort of see it's been really sludgy, 
and now it's drying up so it's grippy in some places and just a bit of a sloth in others but uh, all in should be kind of fun the inside down here is gone now so you're almost best off just hitting the berm and then going around the drop <laughs> right enduro apparently between the tapes we're game on is that right yes enduro so as long as i'm between the tapes we're game on <laughs> right i've had confirmation that apparently as long as you're between the tape that is allowed so uh, we're not missing any tape with that line if we get down there that is must be big there's two world champs here look <laughs> everyone's running that's why i was asking as long as you're between the tapes yes. it's fair game yeah. right happy days <laughs> That is hard work. I did have a line there though. I made sure with the organisers. As long as you're between the tapes, it's, yeah, yeah, right. it's all fair game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. There we go, that was stage one. I don't actually know if that was quicker, you know. It was almost like a lot boggier than I thought it would be. But that is racing on to stage two and uh, another pedal fest. Let's get it. Stage two. <laughs> get oiled. <laughs> definitely cut up a bit more but um same for everyone it's probably getting worse opposed to getting better i was under the assumption that the drier it gets the better it gets but it doesn't look that way unfortunately this is stage two then this is basically used a number of times for some mini downhills and mij races over the years for the downhill but that obviously starts way further down so before that we've got quite a sprint and then uh and then into some off camber and it's going to be a little tricky but super good fun let's get it all right, and pedal first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh god. Rider! Rider, rider, rider! Cheers, mate! Oh my god! That is close! Oh dear! Wow, this enduro is hilarious! That was very physical and that track has changed so much. Luckily, uh, matey boy got out of the way at the last possible minute. Let's go up and check out stage three. So stage three, I have been warned. People are literally getting off their bike and running. Oh no, not good with a bit of a throat infection, but no excuses. Let's get to the top and uh, pedal to the metal or rubber to the floor with my shoes as the case may be. So as we're going into stage three, we have a little debrief about the stages so far. Stage one, I think I rode a little too tight. Stage two was average. At the top was very peddly. Did some insides that I haven't done all morning, but it's one of those things. And this one means it's just going to be a pedal fest. Chat to a few people and said they got off and ran. So not a great start, but we'll see what it's all about. Right, here we are in start of stage three. Right, here we are then. Just, just hopefully run past me and make it comical. <laughs> Oh my god! God, that is horrible. <laughs> that was comical. Bit of running, some crashes, more running, mech nearly in the rear wheel, sticks in my frame. Madness. Let's uh, hope stage four is a bit more enjoyable. Let's get it. Oh, it's almost a bit annoying. First couple of riders had it real good where the trails were still wet. Unfortunately, it's dried up quite a lot now and just become a bog fest. But one more run and then uh, calf time.
That was very hard work. Let's go and uh, see where we got on. But first, let's hit the jump line, as we're be rude not to. I can only apologize for the amount of lung breathing going on there. I am done in now. So we hit the jump line and then check out the results. I really don't know about results. Be interesting to see. I think generally, because I've left it so late in the day, the track has generally got slower, as you saw from stage three, the running race. But who knows, you don't know, do you? If it was wet and horrible this morning, it might have been running faster, but it's more greasy and so on and so forth. So let's hit this and uh, check out results. Let's get it. There we go. Oh, my legs are done now. Right, I don't know how, but I've managed second. Really stoked with that, actually. Overall, it's not too good because I'm guessing anyone who went to start the day had it easier. So that would be the e-bikes, the other categories. But yeah, I actually weird, weirdly stoked. I was not expecting that. So uh, big up. There wasn't really too much bike skill involved in today. It was more fitness, running, and uh, I haven't really got that at the moment. Great, right, here he is. How'd you get on then? <laughs> yeah, okay. What about you, Ferg? Oh, I got smoked. I need, uh, need some bigger legs. You got right. Apparently they put me in the wrong category, so I'm not a second at all. I thought that would be the case after all the paddling and running and crashing. Um, I think I managed top 10, so I'm happy with that. Let's get packed up, and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's weird video. If you have, be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe. And until next time, see you in a bit. Oh, yo, yo.